Yo, this is Matt Tom and Michael of Corporate, and you tuned in to the pregame podcast. Next. All right, listen to season four, episode 27 of the pregame podcast. We got a special guest. Well, yeah. I mean special. We're talking about legend, Cincinnati legend, Matt Tom and Michael from Corporate, CEO of Corporate. Yeah. See, Booty like, corporate guy. Hey, I said we be putting in work. We put in work. Okay. Yeah. Nah, for real. No, I don't man. understand we, what we do. We talk to special special cloth. What does what uh, yeah. Cali say? Big cloth, cloth talk. talk. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Guest we, cloth talk. We look like last week. Yeah, we like last week, but that's not a big <laughs> yeah. deal. It don't matter. We're <laughs> here though. It's Sunday. We out here. We're here. Just know we just know we grinding. Yes. Uh, for sure. But like I mentioned before, Matt Tom and Michael from Corporate CEO of Corporate, the boutique Hyde Park location. We're actually, corporate right now, and it's. It's nice. It's fire. Oh, it's man. A, ooh-wee. Like, you come here, you want to be like, I have to buy something. Yeah, you remember? Like, oh, what can I get? I like that. I like the, the scene in Barbershop when I broke into the other one. He said, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I got fish in the floor. <laughs> nappy cuts. <laughs> nappy cuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nappy cuts. Yeah. Yeah. Nappy cuts. Nappy cuts. That's how I feel like I'm in right now. There's really nappy. fish in the like floor that. in there. I like that. But, Matt, can you go ahead and tell, tell the people where everybody can find you and where they can find corporate? Yeah, so um, Instagram, Twitter, all that. Corporate got them is the shop handle. Uh, me personally, I'm M. Period Tom and Michael. Uh, good luck not finding that because that spells only is a couple kinda, of them. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of hard there. Unique. But yeah. So just find me on Instagram. If you get the M. Dot T. O. M. in there. He should You're pop good. up at You're that good. point. You're good. You're good. Pop up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pop up. Nah, but check him out though. Check him out. We talking about legend. I mean, I'm for real. Which I mean, this is not no play thing. Yeah. But we gonna jump right into it, man. Uh, can you first just tell us? I know you're very big on keeping things organic. Yeah. So how are you able to build corporate? Oh, man. Um, Honestly, just through just good people. That's what's got us to the point where, you know, doors open up. um, The clientele is is great. The people that come through here on a daily is great. Mm -hmm. Um, I love everybody that, like, literally walks through that door. And they, you know, before I even start smiling or saying what's up, they're like, what's up? You know, it's it's just like cheers. Oh, definitely. Cheers um, of shoe shops. Man, that that is a great... uh, compliment and that's definitely how we run things around here very laid back uh i came from the you know more corporate structured right uh settings with okay. foot locker foot action lids oh real kids foot locker okay. harold pinner express <laughs> Harold Penner, hey. I mean, whatever <laughs> to harold Penner. listen man i had i had all those jobs and i i loved them but man at the end of the day you like man corporate don't see rich. this stuff yeah. you know mm-hmm. corporate ain't here they, they don't get it so you know, um, to have my own space and just be able to grow uh, in 12 years, this thing that it's just been, it's been a grind, man. And, you know, every every year I feel like, you know, we've had a door open up, we've had a door close. I mean, yeah. it, hey, it's part of it. It happens. You, uh, you live, you learn, and you pass on the knowledge. So that's why I think that we've been very blessed to say. You that's know, real. Here. That's real, man. Let's give uh, Matt Tomac a round of applause. Absolutely. Ah, Appreciate man. you. Man. That's a nice, that's a nice. That's a big deal. All right, man, before we get started, though, we got a pregame pop quiz. Pregame oh, pop quiz. Time. Always, okay, go ahead. You got it, rough. So, Ooh. your store is, is beautiful, it's immaculate, a lot of shoes. Thank you. I imagine someone like you has a lot of shoes. Too many. Personal. Yeah. But what's one shoe you don't have that you wish you had? Ooh, that's a good one. Good question. Hey, shoe rough, that I don't early. have. What, what shoe did Matt miss out on? Ah, oh, man, it's probably like an Air Force One at some point. Um, there's so many Air Force okay. Ones, but really right now, that's what I'm feeling. So okay. I say uh, there's Bobby Doe. He did three low tops. For the life of me, I cannot find two of them that I had. <laughs> uh-huh. And it's been driving me crazy for months. Like I done turned over the basement, turned over the closet, turned over the storage. Yeah, like all so over you, the So you own these at one point? Yeah, and I, you I think I just gotta do. find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He flipped that question on yeah, some on some flex. Sure, right? No, yeah. no. <laughs> just a I, little bit. Listen, I, say I, could, I mean, I had. Them. I love those shoes, yeah. Yeah. and I like. I've been looking, and I'm like, man, I thought I had these. Don't it got so bad. I asked my wife, like, you gotta. Do I have this is not my question, but it's off here. Like, yeah. I mean, how deep does the shoe game go? Like, like you got the Galaxy phones type. No, so okay, um, I, just, I just didn't know. I how. still oh, for hype these. So, so oh, here, here it is, and and this is all honest. Through the years, there have been times where I'm up. Yeah. I get the Galaxy phone. <laughs> yeah. And I'm down. I'm like, hey. I can't get shit. Let me tell you something. I'll sell this Nike before right. I don't pay that Nike bill. Right. Like, um, you know, you can ask any retailer that deals with Nike. Literally, you have a bill. You wake up in the morning, right? I wake up at 530. By 6, I have a, a email from them. You nice have new invoice. invoice. Yeah. You have new invoice. And it's a daily thing. 
Like, and I literally, wow. there Feel were times, yeah. 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 there were times stuff. where you're like, yo, man, it's not about what I have. Mm -hmm. Like, man. It's about staying, staying in the game. Staying in the game. And there were times where it was like, I, I done came across things and had to let them go for the, you know, the betterment of the shop, so. That's yeah. crazy. Every, hey, ooh, like everybody's that. had to sell a shoe before. Yeah, hey man, oh, and man. if you haven't, you are very lucky because yeah. I don't know Shop nobody. God. That I haven't done that yet. Oh, <laughs> that's the flex. You see that? That was the flex. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about my flex. I've only been buying for real for three or four years. Yeah, so. I've had I've man. had spurts in my life. Yeah, where I've been uh, yeah man. That's, <laughs> that's I was down and I wish down you for the whole first part of the last decade. Like, I couldn't do nothing. Hey, if you like that, man. Priorities. 11, 12, 13, 14 down hey <laughs> look at you now the priorities yeah. man cutting up right now yeah you Honestly. good that's real I mean, i'll go next um favorite thing about cincinnati one thing that you love about Ooh. the city um i love the fact that now we have people that are making like real moves and not just saying they're making moves and for the most part, like all the people in, in these circles are like supportive of each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, man, listen, we've got to the point where I feel like if there was a misunderstanding, people just talk it out. Yep. Because it's like, yo, like. Not F it, them, I'm cool off them. Exactly. Like, and it, if somebody's walking around like that, man, just clear the air. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, we've been so good together. Like, that's why people's events are doing well. Like, yeah. you know, the spotlight is on us and we're succeeding together. Mm -hmm. Like, man, there's been friends that, you know, ha have different events or charities or, um, you know, movements that are going on that I fully support. And it's cool. Like, it ain't no awesome just oh, in man, the they DM. too well. They yeah. don't want to, wanna, you know, they nah. shine too hard. Listen, and um, let's see. From From my circle, there's... You know, guys like um, Means. Means is shout out to Means. Shout out to Means, Who you man. You saw last week. Dope. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So Means is like this super entrepreneur. And at first, I didn't get it just because I didn't. You know, we didn't interact every right. day. But now it's like, yo, he calls me when there's something. I can call him when mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, let me bounce this idea off you. Or just like, yo, you've had experience with that. How did it go? Like that's what we've been able to come Gotta together. To. That's crazy. Yeah. Man. And then there's like guys like. Um, Nudie, I don't know if y'all know him, James Marable. Nah. Yo, James. We can come back though. Oh man, that dude is super creative, super talented, and just like one of my best friends that like pushes me. Like, and I don't, I don't talk to Nudie every single day, yeah. but like when we do, we see each other. Like, yo, that's tight. That's friendship. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Every day talk thing every day. for the real. Exactly. I, gotta, I can see you two, three months apart, and it's still right where we, we pick left up off. Right where we yeah. left off. Yes, that's, that's real. real. Yeah. Shout out to Cincinnati, man. Yeah, man. Uh, I might step on toes on this question, but I know you got the uh, the Jordan collab. But I want to know uh, if you can do another collab, what would the silhouette be? So, what brand and what silhouette would you like to do a corporate okay shoe collab? So with? it's not Jordan, not the Jordan one. Okay, I know you just did the Jordan okay. one. That's that's so. Again, it would probably have to be Nike, mm -hmm. just I'll, because. I feel you. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, you want things to be right, yeah. but I could also go a different direction. Mm -hmm. I could do a Reebok and have it like mean something to me. Um, I could do an ASIC. I could do, let's see, Converse. Okay. I could do, like, there's three different ones that I would do right there. Right now, I would be like, yo, let me do this model. Mm -hmm. Let me tell this story, and I think it'll work. Okay. So, That's I mean, real. yeah, I mean, of course, you know, Nike is the one that I, I would definitely try to get off on. Um, my mentor, he did a, a, the, the nasty Air Force One. Okay. And that was a mid. So mm -hmm. I always give him a hard time. Like, yo, you did a mid. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, like, yeah. I mean, I, that's they, not going to be call my them choice. for a reason, bro. Yeah, like, yo, you did yeah. you did a mid. I'm like, mid. I'm mid. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, y'all was a black, though. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So that's where I'm like, man, I, I would do different silhouettes and just try to tell a different story. Adidas is one, too. I'd probably do. If they, I think uh, the, the the spectrum is so much broader now. You can definitely go through all those yeah. and be fine. For sure. Man, right? Yeah. It doesn't have to be this. Right. Like, yeah. I mean, you look at our shoe wall. Like, we carry everybody from oh, yeah. you got leaning oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to Vans to... Yeah. Some heat in here. You know, yeah. that's that's the fun. I don't, I don't think I saw any Under Armour, though. You're not going to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any K-Swiss Don't worry. It's not happening here. Oh, so. I, I don't wear my K-Swiss. Yeah. So we're good. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, yeah. nah. It's over. Uh, yeah. Is it my turn? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you agree. My question. Uh oh. You know what? If you could have somebody come here, I, I kind of got this question. I stole it from today earlier. Um, <laughs> if you got somebody come here and push your brand, who would that person be? As a brand ambassador yeah. for you. One celebrity mm. coming here and just, yep, they wear corporate every day. I'm going to go with Michael B. Jordan. 
Really? That's a good yeah. one. Yeah. I like that. Hey, he's I'm about a, to he about to cuss. Hey. I'm, I, I'm gonna tell I'm y'all why though. No, please. Fill us in. Because his career is intentional, right? Mm. Every movie that he's doing has purpose. And it's to glorify minorities. Yeah. And it's not to put a minority in a bad situation. Where you know where we'd be like, yo, that's messed up. Mm. He really had to do that role. Yeah. Like and he's you not saw gonna sell you out. saw what he did for them Jordan jumpsuits with Creed. Hey, hey, them Nike Tech suits. Let me tell you something. Numbers. There we are. <laughs> I, I still want that. I still want that, that leather jacket he had in Creed one. Yeah. He, oh, was, man. he Creed. was doing some wild Jordan shit. That's what I'm saying, man. That's a good that's, a, good. that's a really good answer. Oh, yeah, Everything but Fantastic Four. That didn't work out. Hey, didn't Fantastic Four just uh, they're they're destined to do to be doomed. They're trying to Yeah, Doctor Doom for sure. Um all right, man, let's move on, man. Next. Next. So back to the interview. So um, how how has corporate influenced the culture of Cincinnati? You got that You got that tagline, <coughs> Bigger Than Sneakers. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean, where does that come from for you? So uh, Bigger Than Sneakers was this thing that just basically I had an epiphany. Um, started drinking too much, started partying too much, started thinking about, you know, not really um, being my best. Right. Enjoying your success, kind of. You was famous. Boys knew <laughs> you. A little bit, a little bit. So like. You know, I've been doing this since I was 22. Uh, excuse me. Hold on. Go ahead. Like, go ahead, man. You're good. Ah, yeah. So I 22. I choked up thinking about the glory days. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> More like cotton mouth. But yeah. uh, no, 22, you know, got in the game, feeling myself, man. Just like all about like, yo, let's go to the club. Let's pop these bottles. We out tonight? What's the exactly. Let's exactly. Make it happen. And, uh, <clears throat> Bigger than sneakers was just something that I felt like I needed to get over. Like I needed to get over the shoes. Dang. What does it, what does it mean to have a thousand pairs of shoes, <coughs> but you're not giving back? Yeah. You're not being, you know, uh, influence, you know, you're not using your influence. You're not using your inspiration. And uh, I really had to figure it out. Like yeah. I had to, you know, look myself in the mirror. I had to get them demons off me, man. And I went there, you know, and, uh, I had a friend, she moved back from uh, DC. And she was like, that's such a good tagline. Like, let's make it a nonprofit. Wow. Yeah, we okay. have, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, two years in, we've done uh, our sneaker ball annually. Okay. We've done- um, oh, Wow, okay. Yeah, we've done work in the community with uh, Bengals player, Sean Williams. Mm -hmm. We've done, uh, let's see, last year we, we teamed up with uh, Upspring which is for teenagers that are actually homeless. Okay. And for me, uh, that could have easily been my situation, mm -hmm. man. I was pushing away family, I was pushing away everybody. And I mean, you know, you look at somebody that they smile and you like, dang, you smiling through right. homelessness. Like not having a place right. to go home to, bruh. And so for me, I was just like, yo, this is why it's bigger than sneakers. This is why we're able to do what we can do. Um, you put good energy out there, you get it back. Yeah, for sure. oh, dude, definitely. That's tight. Definitely. And, you know, like, just getting my mind right and getting to the next level of my career, mm -hmm. like, it, it really made it feel like this is just it. It's bigger than sneakers. Like, That's crazy. Man, these shoes, dude, if I had to trade in all of them for, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. they gone, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Now, how can somebody get involved with Bigger Than Sneakers? <clears throat> so, we have a website, uh, biggerthansneakers.org. Um, obviously, you can sign up to volunteer. And then also in the shop here, we have an office for Bigger Than Sneakers. Okay. Where we do have kids that come in, listen, like we have kids that be, you know, doing craziness. And I'm like, yo, just go sit in the office, go do your thing. Got man. little tricks running around. Yeah, you, you got it, but you got to pull them in, man. Because yep. like, if you not, they'll, they'll, it'll get to a point where it can't be pulled in. It, dude, exactly. And I mean, I think we all have been there where we just needed a big homie, right? Yep. Like, yeah. You know, uh, you guys have Vic. Vic was my big homie. Okay. Vic kept me motivated and being like, yo, you doing your thing? Are you, you know, you tripping? And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm tripping right now. I so, admit, again. That's a, that's a great segue. Shout, shout out to Fat Tiger, Fat Tiger oh, yeah. for sure. Shout out to the OG Vic yeah, they Lloyd. they got a big weekend coming they up. They just had a crazy collab with Adidas, man. Yes, King sir. Rello, Vic Lloyd, man, going crazy right yep. before All-Star. Yeah, they doing jo, it. Uh, Joe had the New Balance as well. Yeah, yeah. man, no emotions, Kawhi. Yes. Listen, Fat Tiger making a lot of noise in Chicago. They I, do it, I man. wanted to talk about that. I thought that was a great segue. So how did you develop that relationship with Fat Tiger? I know you just had a, a, okay. a collab where Vic Lloyd yeah, came yeah, through yeah. the shop and yep. put on an event. So talk about yeah, that. Yeah, so... Um, Meeting Joe and them was about 2000, 
and seven. Um, I actually moved away from Cincinnati um, mm. 2007 after uh, one of my friends was killed. And I was like, man, I just got to get away from here, dude. Like, Are you from it, here originally? I, I'm originally from Cincinnati, okay. yeah. So I moved uh, to Minnesota. And you got away, away. Oh, away. And <laughs> negative 50 degrees. It Yikes. was like, it was crazy. So I moved away. Um, my mentor, his name is Sly Peoples. He owned this store called Status. Mm. Man, we were killing it. We were like top 13 in the world for BBC, <coughs> everything. Word. Like at a time when Pharrell was like doing the in stores, yeah. right. and everything. So Vic was basically their mentor, his mentor. So I got grandfathered in. Like Vic basically adopted me when I was like mm -hmm. 19. Vic and, really the OG. Oh, dude, listen, like everything that Vic says he is, he, he's done it, seen it, did it twice. And, Plus, you um, know, exactly. Yeah. So, and just, so I can call any day, you know. I try to FaceTime him more often now because he's got Lil Vic. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. like, hey, you know, yeah. I want to be active even in Lil Vic's life. Yeah. I just think it's so crazy because we've been doing these runs with these boutiques, and it's just I don't know. I don't, it's like Sentinels. I don't know who put y'all out here, yeah. but y'all are in like these places. Yeah, it's culture and are trees, all man. All tied in in different yeah. ways. Listen, man. I want to know who Zordon is because all y'all know each other, and it seems like. Y'all just getting dispersed in these random locations. You going over there and you gonna yeah, fuck you it gonna up. go to nap and I'm gonna send you to Cincy. Y'all gonna run it and send, yeah. who is the mastermind? Because <coughs> Monty's connected too. Yeah, because yeah. we talked to Monty and Monty's yeah. connected the same way y'all are. So Monty uh, from Hang Time. Shout out to Monty. Yeah, from Hang shout time. out to Monty. Listen, Who's great guy. That's my dog. Like real, real live dude, man. So uh, I would have to say it's the Tony Sports dude. I've never met Tony Sports. Uh -huh. Vic definitely talked about Tony Sports, but. Yeah. Corey, who owned Leaders, right. yep. was in all that. Okay. And man, listen, so the crazy story was, y'all know Ty from Leaders? A regular old Ty on Instagram? Uh, I've heard I know of him. Ty. I've yeah. seen Ty. I've okay. been several times. So. You know he's from Cincinnati. Did not know that. Check this out. Right. So I'm at Wright State. I'm trying to call Leaders for a Lamar and Dolly shirt. Mm -hmm. At this time, you had to do a PayPal invoice on this. It was just <laughs> some crazy MySpace stuff. You had to yeah, like inbox, rip out the receipts and check. boom, all that. <laughs> and uh, I called. I'm like, "Yo, I'm from Cincinnati." Like they like Cincinnati. There's a guy that work here named Ty. I was like, "What?" So that's what made me gravitate towards leaders too. Gotcha. After mm. hearing about Sly having that reputation, I was like, "Bet, let's like, yo, leaders, that's dope." So like, I would say. Let's let's give them credit, man. Because you know? in my head, there's there's a Matt in St. Louis, there's a Matt Definitely. in Louisville. You know what I'm saying? Like they somebody dispersed them out there yeah. and they out there running it. Yeah, yeah. Man. we don't know who's putting y'all out here. The boutique tree is real. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Y'all culture yeah. tree is nuts. Uh we all I mean, we all know each other. Uh we've all, you know, come across each other. And, you know, I think that's the cool thing. It's like a unwritten, un spoken like law of brotherhood yeah like we're <laughs> yeah, real cool for like for real sneaker yeah. for a sneaker yeah definitely yeah shirt by shirt shirt for shirt my fuck yeah well, <laughs> you missed twice that's crazy i did i did you like that i was about to choke <laughs> well, that, that one hit, let me go again yo y'all know how hard i was trying not to choke you ever seen a man i miss a bunny and then grab shit oh, oh sneaker for a sneaker wasn't that bad it'd be like that it does it do, it do. often yeah. it yeah. wasn't that bad hey, we all we all <laughs> have our moments but I, I do think that's crazy like i like i said I, i'm certain there's somebody in st louis that's got the same story oh yeah yeah the same yeah. ogs and well, we gotta go talk to him probably there's the uh the dna guy he i can't remember his name offhand i'm sorry um, but he's in my phone and okay. I text him, make sure he's good. And they, I mean, people, we just do this. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, literally, you know, you, you look out for the next man because you know, easily his situation could be yours. Right. So, you know, Roe and Burn Rubber, Deontay mm -hmm. up in Columbus, uh, Robert Rosenthal in Cleveland, Joe from Lexington. Like, these are my guys. Like, these are my real friends. So Shout like, out I, to Burn Rubber. I used yeah. to want that shit real bad yeah. when Big Sean and was Rick, popping. Yeah. Rick was... You're yeah. a real fan. I was a real fan. I still am. <laughs> Sean, that's a good dude. Yeah. So you coming off the Jordan collab as well? Yeah. Can you just talk about the development of that? Because that's oh, crazy. Man. I mean, so, that, that don't even happen in Midwest like that for yeah. real, really. I mean, it doesn't happen with um, performance basketball either, which is like even crazier. So right. like, uh, you know, first off, um, I met Chris when he was probably on like his second signature shoe okay and he didn't realize like i was a super fan which is crazy because like all right so uh his coach at wake forest was skip prosser mm -hmm. skip okay. prosser was the skip. former coach of xavier he was the former coach and i just knew like yo if he liked chris 
like I was gonna like Chris. He was scrappy. You know, he was gonna try to dunk on you at that mm, point right. in time. Yeah, back and when I, he could, you know. Yo, and, hey, he still got it. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, we just developed this, this friendship over the years after we've been introduced. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually, at the 10 year anniversary, we did a shoe with him. And they didn't get released. You know, there was two colors. Mm. It was super, like, low key. I think I had like 12 pairs of each or something crazy like that. And, um, Man, the next one, I was like, yo, see, like, I think we can sell the next one. Like, I think we can bring the energy. Right, right. Man, yeah. listen, he was like, bet, let's do it. You know, um, Jordan Brand has a lot on their plate. So sometimes, you know, Chris Paul's shoe doesn't get pushed right. out there as far. But, like, man, for me, it was just like an opportunity again. Like, yo, everybody says a retro, right? Mm -hmm. Like, yo, I want to do the retro four. I was like, let's do CPs. Like, it, it feels organic. Right. It's right for me. Like, yo, that's the only shoes I've played in forever. So, um, yo, we did it. It came out great. Uh, they sold out in, I think it was like 45 minutes. I had a little timer in my that's pocket. Tight. Cause that's I was like crazy, hustling. Man. I was right. like pushing everybody that's, like, yeah. yo, faster, faster. Right. Bag um, talk. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, yeah. I better stop playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the only downfall, we didn't have more. But I mean, if we would have had. It makes it tighter though. I mean, it, it sucks does. for the consumer, but. On your end, it just looks cooler. I mean, yo, I think we could have sold 500 pairs that day. Gotcha. The way that people were coming out, like, it was just amazing. Like, it was people literally from when I worked at Foot Action in, like, 2002 mm. that were like... Because you yeah, own, like, this. Yeah, we gotta like... We got this, bro. We've been fucking uh, with you bruh, since the beginning. That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, people that don't ever buy CPs were buying them. Right. People that were buy, never buy Jordan clothing was buying our hoodie. Our that's crazy. That's yeah. awesome, man. And shout out to CP3. Fun. So he was... He was involved. Oh man, listen. I feel like sometimes we don't really understand how much the player, how, how much say so they have. You just kind of feel like, oh, they own Jordan Brand, whatever. But he was definitely part of the process. Yeah, they own Def yeah. Jam. They just kind of give, here's your shoe, bro. Yeah, oh, right. man. Tell people we'll to push buy that. it. But you know what's so crazy? So uh, when, you know, he got traded like right before the season, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they didn't have shoes for him. So they had our shoe. They colored it up in all his OKC colors orange and gray, blue and orange white all these different versions of our shoe mm -hmm. is what he's been playing in if you look at it all season that's tight that's so, i can't wait to go look he rocking <laughs> the corporate, right behind you oh yeah so that's yeah. uh that's my boy dex he looked like big sean right he does yeah. i thought it was yeah. him yeah. <laughs> exactly so we took this out at this court down to, uh downtown and this is where you know i like to see like these kids actually play sometimes i'll jump out there or whatever but like man this was this was us so, you know what I mean? It, it was dope. Organic. Yeah. And then, uh, well, back to, so when CP played in Indy, he wore that color to shoot. And uh, he gave him to my nephew after the game, signed him for him every shit. Time. My nephew was like blown away. My uncle's the coolest guy in the yeah, world. Exactly. Man. Yeah, exactly. I should have seen him. I'm, the coolest. I'm, I'm the coolest shoot. until Chris comes around. Right, right, that's right, his right. actual favorite yeah. player because he's known him as a, like since little. That's tight. So, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's cool to see that come full circle for oh, sure, man. man. Congratulations Lessons. on that. Yeah, thank you to them. Um that's that's real. Any any projects on the horizon? You got coming uh, that you yeah. can share. That you yeah, can yeah, talk yeah. about. No pressure. Oh, no pressure. Pew, pew, huh? pew. <laughs> Let's just <laughs> here. We like pregame exclusives around here. So, though. I'll give y'all this. Um we've been working pretty closely to trying to finalize a deal over in Indianapolis actually. Um Looking Shots in the, the downtown area. Come through. Yeah. We but, need you. Nah. No. Nah, hey, listen. Like, you know, I think a lot of the brands recognize that Indianapolis needs it. Um, they like Indy. You know, Indy has a lot going on. NCAA. Gotta respect the city. Um, yeah. You know, all coming. that. Circle City. Mm -hmm. All-star. All All-star next year. It's a lot of things on the horizon for Indy. And mm -hmm. that, that says a lot, you know. You guys do a great job. I know the last time y'all had Super Bowl. Oh, it was fantastic. Yeah, Crazy. They exactly. talked about a city like they say I've never the heard best, of before. They say it's like, one of the best ones ever. Because uh, everything is five minutes away. Listen, I walk walks, most of the stuff. I, I, I would love to be uh, a part of that. And, you know, I think it, it's cool because ain't nobody doing what we're doing. Like, right. We're the boutique. And we we think we can do a good job. If you bring one of these to nap, it'll go crazy. nuts. It's it's gonna go crazy. Y'all gotta see the place, man. If you, if it's you, crazy. Like we said, the other one. If you come down for Papa Do's, stop by corporate. Oh, oh sure. Y'all come to Papa. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's, it's, it's the thing. People in Indianapolis will drive up here for the weekend to yep. go to the outlet mall or after church. 
and come home. Yep. Be home by six. Hey, <clears throat> I feel y'all. That, uh, come to these <clears throat> spots, though. Why are you the, here? What's that highway y'all take? It, uh, well, uh, 74. Well, he had us take oh, yeah. 70. Yeah, 74. Which was nuts. Take. Gotcha. It wasn't the way. You know, we got here in the same amount of time. <laughs> we need to say yeah, that. we drove through Trump country. We did. Got, gotta be careful. It was frightening. Yeah. It was frightening. <laughs> Lucky shit, we definitely should do it at night. Nah, we're not. We're not. We're we not. But between Cincinnati and Indy, I ain't gonna lie, I get off in Trump country about where that Fazoli's is. Man. We don't have Fazoli's, so I be Really? That. that makes sense. It's always something you wanna eat. <laughs> <laughs> we don't got that, I'm getting it. It's worth yeah. the risk. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Look, look, if I see a <laughs> yeah. Sonic, I'm eating it. That's a Sonic. We don't got that. that. Really? <laughs> that Fazoli's. We don't got man. one. The Fazoli's is all worth it. I would crazy. never ever yeah. pull up to Sonic. That's crazy. This, this, man, the little Sonic is heat fire. though. Sonic is good. Man. Man. Let, let's Sonic. not. Let's not. I'm not talking heat. with my hands today. All right, you're not. That's because you, you was warming up. And I, I pulled was, up I was to this. this. <laughs> and the commercials, the Sonic commercials are good too. Good. I enjoy it. That's the best thing to have. <laughs> so y'all eat Hardy's too, don't you? All the time. Hey, hold on. Don't be dying Hardy's. Hardy's is fire, man. Hardy's breakfast. Hardy's breakfast. Tell them again. Hardy's breakfast. Man, that's not listen. Hardy's breakfast is right up there with Chick fil A. Maybe I'll try it. Bro, try it. You might be Sorry. surprised. I did. I, I'm sorry. Hardy's is nice, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Solid. Uh, what's, your, what's your current yeah, take on the nice. sneaker culture, though, for sure? Like, uh, with everything that's going on the last 10, 15 years, you know, even with the brick and mortar, with yeah. the internet, the sneakers <clears throat> app, man. I, I think you just, you just got to get better, man. Like, if you're a retailer, you have to be personable. You have to be fair. Because, man, if you're not fair... They might as well jump on the app, right? Right, yeah. right. Like, dude. Because what's many, the benefit of coming to you if I could just, you know, exactly. scroll through? Exactly. How many through? stores literally open up and they like, yeah, we got four pairs for y'all. Mm. You like, bruh, what? Like, oh. I've been out here well, and y'all ain't say that. Yeah. 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 Well, what's the that's whack. Well, they did some shady <laughs> shit in the back. That's all yeah. that was. And and uh, also, you've seen this line for him. Dude, you that's, know, and, why are you wasting my time? Yeah, and you hoping now. Why am I wasting issues, my time? But they'll buy something else in here. No, I'm pissed. You could yeah. live with that, brother. You don't sell <laughs> yeah. anything else by keeping that line out there. Nope. That's not going to happen. How have y'all adapted? Right, if I buy something else, then I'm going home. Shitty. How have y'all adapted to the change, the internet era? Um, you know what I mean? We, we have to get better. I mean, um, we do a lot online already. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually launching a new website at the end of the month because we know we have to get better. Right. Like, Word. yo, if I want to be competitive, I got to be on the best. Uh, you know, platform Shopify. Yeah, like, you said twelve years. You can't. You can't be the same guy from twelve years ago. You, it's over. You for cannot, you. man. And unfortunately, you know that's why a lot of guys that we once saw are no longer with us. Right. Because you know they got, they did the same thing, man. They just mm -hmm. kept doing it yeah. and doing it, and yep. then they're they like, bro, I know what your next move is. Yep. It's like <laughs> I've seen this play. <laughs> yeah. Like <laughs> I, I know what you're gonna do. You're yeah. gonna do a raffle. Yep. We get it. Yeah. Like. Yeah, they Damn. let the, they let the culture grow and then they they stay. Yeah, they stop. There's yeah. a lot of people. Nah, like that. you got weird. Listen, man, like well, people don't like change. Change is tough. People don't want to believe change is coming. No, growth is tough. Yeah, yeah. I ought to be fine. We'll always be able to do this. No, we won't. But right. the but the the way the world works, tell you that like you can't get a job where you retire from now. Work in a factory for thirty years, you can't do it anymore. Nah, no. Nah. Like you have to do something else. So <laughs> gotta be ready. Same time, it's gonna change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wanted to ask, so I asked the same question to uh, Means and them over at Black On. So coming mm -hmm. up for us when we was in college, like a lot of times we would see a lot of these brands or these boutiques, they're pushed by like artist development. So like yeah. say like leaders had a chance and it, 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 it loads for what they did. Yeah. did. Big Sean, Burn Rubber. Yeah. With you guys, like I was, I was on the way down, <laughs> I'm like thinking like, all right, the biggest rap artist from Cincinnati is High Tech. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And High Tech is a producer. Now, yeah, he, he's but a producer, but he, he did he rap. He did spit some bars on Now, a Ohio of in general has a ton of talent, but Cincinnati Tons. itself doesn't yeah. have like a face. Do you feel like that's something that hurts y'all? Um, or is it something that you just got something to work around? No, I mean, I think now, well, first off, growing up, yeah, definitely. We yeah. didn't have a, you know, like you said, High Tech. Mm, that's yeah. all people knew. Um, as me said, Boosie Collins. I ain't know what Boosie Collins, but Ooh, you know he's yeah. not gonna come in here and put some J's on for nah, you. Nah, Boosie gonna put a fish tank on. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That's, that's his fish in the shoes. Yeah, definitely. But uh, that's that may have hurt us. Mm -hmm. But again, I think because we didn't have one person to latch onto, it gave opportunity to other people. Like you know, um, Big Sean was, is, is a good supporter of the shop, or ha has been for mm -hmm. ten years. There's guys that have come through. Uh, we caught on to Kendrick really early. Um, I mean, there's all these guys that See, he, you know he, kept showing up. Can I get through here? Yeah. So yeah. what? Man, Shout out to D Smoke. The the night no. that that happened, 
I'll tell you, my, my boy Dre, he actually drove to Indy to pick up Kendrick, then drove him back hmm. to the show, and the show didn't start till like two in the morning. It oh, this was, is early Kendrick. Oh yeah. man, it was uh, it was Section Eighty. The Section Eighty. Section yeah. Eighty. Yeah. yeah, Section Eighty. Kendrick. Hell of a show. Oh man, Nigga, yeah. Jump through the hoops to go pick up Kendrick. You want me to go pick up Kendrick right now? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. No, I in got, I got the gas money. I got no, it. In a snowstorm. Only nothing. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Oh man, it, I mean, well, the, the hustlers man. definitely appreciate it. Exactly. And I, go ahead, my bad. Nah, nah, go ahead, bro. No, I just because I think I want to make sure I'm not misinterpreting. So one of my favorite artists is Dro. And I think you got a bar Wait. on the intro. Oh, which intro? On the oh, new the album. new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's you, right? Ah uh, man. So yeah, that's Jero is my brother. He said I left First corporate time. and looked back since to my man over the shop. That's yeah. the closest I've been. He was like, you should show me shoes so I can pay my rent. Yeah, man. That, hey, it's it's one hundred percent. It hit you. It hit you. Yeah. Just so, listen to that, man. So before we got this, that's crap. I ain't even put two and two together. Listen, to go shout out to Ro. I got listen. It's gonna hit way uh, harder now. Ro is uh, you ever met somebody you just knew like whatever you had to do, like in with like yo, if I have to set this dude a pick to shoot a three, yeah. I'm I got gonna him. set the yeah. pick. Yeah, yeah like it. that's my brother, man. Like yo, so after Minnesota, mm-hmm. I moved to Columbus. Columbus, it was like a one year deal that we did. Because the uh, the recession hit us really hard, yo. We couldn't even get the floor done in the space. Hmm. But Damn. Fly You, like, so I bought Fly You, which was the group that he was in. I'm right. saying, trust so, me. Oh, he's uh, geeking out over here. Swift yeah, came in. He he sells me Kill Fly You. Uh huh. I'm not gonna tell y'all what CD I left in the car that day, but I had the Kill Fly You CD. Mm. Yo, I started. Boom. Twenty minutes later, this dude comes in. He's like, ah, oh, bro, what you think of this? I was like, man, it's crazy from, you know, I went through the album once right. and I was on my second spin and it was Jero. Mm-hmm. And I was so honest with him. I said, bro, like, this is good. Like, this is really good music. I don't know who gave it to me. I just moved here basically. Mm-hmm. And he was like, man, for real? I was like, yeah. That's me. That <laughs> and Yeah, he was just humbly like, yo, that's me. And ever since, like, yo, I've been a supporter. Um, you know, after Fly You did their thing, it was Jero. Jero right. moved to LA. Yeah. And um, when he did that, you know, it was rough. You know, he you can ask he him. He had the standard LA story. Oh, bro. Yeah. He, I mean, you talk about this didn't work out. That didn't work out, bro. I'm hurt. Like, I'm, you know, he was down. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why there's so much time between both albums. Right. So um, the first album came out. Uh, never How know, You Plan. Yep. Never How You Plan. Yep. Bro, Real fan. he got I'm it. I'm a fan. Like, Dro, oh. Dro and Fly Union were the theme songs to like five years of my life. Dang, where, where, where did you go to school at? IU. That's why. Yeah. They had a buzz out there with it, uh, Dope. I, it was that. Yeah, yep. with Dope. dope. The first, so the first Fly You track I heard was pulled up because Big Sean was on. I'm a big, yep. big Sean yep. fan. And from that point on, I was a fan. Dog. Even at Lee, when at Lee split from him, I yeah. messed with at Lee because uh, it was a similar Lee, feel. Lee, Jero, we used to go who? Man. Uh, out on these courts, out by OSU. Like, we used to, I mean, we're all friends. You know, now, like I said, you get over things. Man. Yeah. Right. Things are said. Uh, he, mentioned, he mentioned Lee and the album. Okay, maybe they're cool now. Tight. He did. So that was, uh, that's like, I'm telling you, man. So Jero hit me with the album. Well, no, listen, I, I text him a $20 bill. Like, you know, Apple Pay. I Apple Paid him. I said, this is my pre-order, please uh, accept <laughs> I need that. Yo, he was like, do you want the album now? I said, uh, no pressure. Yeah, I, need I do that. have my laptop in my hand, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. So he sends it over. And um, I'm one of them guys, like, when I hear new music, I have to get in the car. That's, yeah, that's, that's the, the most important place to right? yeah, yeah, that's, do the, that's the, the car test, right? Yeah. So I get in the car. I just drive around my little neighborhood. I wasn't even going nowhere because I didn't have nowhere to be. And I just started listening to the album. 30 minutes goes by. I'm like. Wow, mm-hmm. and I—I I, I mean, he told me it was the most personal album that he's ever, you know, worked on. He told me about how, you know, he was in <coughs> Amazon and the dude that was listening like was in tears, and I was like, I see why. Like, yeah, I don't want to keep gushing bruh. over, but like for artists I've been listening to for almost a decade now, for me to still find out new stuff about you, yeah, ten years later, is like crazy. There, there's so many uh, stories. It's definitely man. personal. I, I tell you, uh, I, y'all really gonna make me go somewhere today. That's right? hey, man, So, I'm um, when they were on, t- well, they they had been on three dates with Pusha T. Yep. They went to Miami. Mm-hmm. So, we do the Miami show. They come back to my house, which was literally down the street. Sleep. They sleep. 
I couldn't sleep because I was too worried that I wasn't going to wake up <laughs> to have them in Atlanta. Yeah. So I'm the roadie manager for the, the weekend. Damn. It sucked. I Yo, it was it, terrible. Yeah. It's real work. Yeah, yeah. These dudes. Well, rappers don't believe in time. Uh-uh. Man, listen. We had, it, it was just, it was awful, man. I drove them from, from Miami to here. Boom. They Damn. slept. What the no, fuck? No, no, no. Miami, Oxford. Oh, I'm sorry. My, yeah. Yeah. Oh, listen, yeah. listen, the university. Though, it, the university. It gets worse, Miami, though. Oh, so so Miami, Oxford. He said. Boom. Here. It was like three in the morning. Mm. We wake up at six. I didn't sleep because right. I was too nervous. Like I was gonna yeah. oversleep. Because you, once you know if you're so tired, I just, I'm not waking up. Dog, six a.m. comes. I'm like, get your asses in the car. Mm. Like we we got to go to Atlanta. So we drove straight to Atlanta, through the mountains, all that. Yeah, six yeah, hours yeah, from the mountains, no joke. Bruh, yeah, man. They sitting there working on the album. Um, what was the next one? Um, was this TGTC? Uh, or was my, it a no, small it victories? The, small victories. Small victories is so, fire. That's when I kind of got hit for real. So they're yeah, working me on and that. Calorie have no I didn't idea. know at the time. Small mm-hmm. victories, crazy. So we drive there. We accidentally eat. Get that mic, please, brother. Please. Yo, we actually uh, we accidentally ate Push's uh, catering. <laughs> so he was ticked. They're damn. <laughs> yo, yeah. it was just a bad experience. They ate my food. <laughs> yeah, they. Oh, everybody was like, well, we didn't know. I was like, yeah. <laughs> well, it was I, hot, I did, brother. I didn't have no names on it. Bro, right. listen. And again, I'm the road manager for the weekend. Mm-hmm. So I'm feeling like I'm under pressure. Right. And them messing up. And you know, it was pushing them. Yeah. Yo, that, was, that was a terrible week. Is pushing an approachable guy? Yeah. Cool. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> oh, bro. Yo. <laughs> I got to push the T stories too. That, I mean, it's just a lot of these people that you come that across. That was great. That yeah, was good. But no, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, definitely. He thinks he's funny. I just always think, yeah. I always wanted to do that. Yeah. Like yeah, right yeah. in front of me. I, can't, I don't have the, the yeah. ability that I need. To. I don't think I have the, yeah. the, the pain he's going through. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Out. I, yeah, but nah, man. We, we done did it all. Jero, uh, I, Swift. We, we done been everywhere. I done, That's dope. you know. Drove the yeah, van, crazy, drove man. the Explorer, drove him. I had to fan out real quick. We can get back to the court. Yeah. I just want to talk about that. <laughs> but that's my brother, man. Remember, remember, I'm fan. That, that is my oh. brother, man. Yeah, me and my little brother, he's going to be geek to hear this. Ah. Yeah. That's dope, that's dude. Tight. I that's can hear snacks right yeah. now. Oh, man. You know. you could have like been, 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 been here. Snacks could have been here, too. He missed hey, out. It'd it be like that, it man. Do. It do. It's why I told him, though. He won't He won't admit that. Shout out to Snacks. She said no. Shout out to Camille. It's okay. I love y'all. Hey, man. I was oh shit. Next question. Listen, I, I thought it was really cool to see the fact that you have so so much of a connection with the Cincinnati professional realm. Yeah. Sports. How are you able to build those connections between the bing, the Bengals players and in corporate? Okay, so uh like man, Twitter was powerful. the thing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's powerful. I remember uh the first time AJ Green, you know, he came to Cincinnati, he tweeted out, Where can I buy shoes? A hundred people tweeted that in corporate. That's oh, love. Wow. Bro. That's love. 20 That's minutes when you later. Know. That's when you know you own, too. But listen, 20 minutes later, this dude walked through the door. And it felt like it was just one of my good friends that just walked through the door. And, you know, he's like, I guess I, because I'm older, I'm like the big brother. But, mm-hmm. you know, he taller and he tried to show his muscle on me all the time. So he's the big brother. <laughs> right, I, right, right. I'll go ahead with that. But, yeah, I mean, man, social media, just one person after another. Right. Uh, you know, AJ led to <gasps> well, Jermaine lo- Gresham. I might be losing too. AJ here soon, man. Your boy might be getting up out of here. Hey, man. Whatever it yeah, he is. Yeah, he gave some good times. Well, I mean, he, he you, is so much more that the city don't even know about. You yeah. want to keep him with Joe Burrow, wouldn't you? You would think so. You would think so, but this is the Bengals we talked yeah, about. That's true. Yeah. Listen, man. <laughs> that's true. It's like, yo, you got peanut butter and jelly. Mm. They gonna oh, be like, yo, should we put this mayonnaise on the right. sandwich? Like, <laughs> no. I heard it's really good, How bro. Does a carrot sound? Nobody else in the league does it, but trust me, <laughs> listen, mayonnaise man. fire on that. But that's Cincinnati football. Yeah. I feel it. Yeah. Is, so. a, is it a baseball connection too, or just more football <laughs> players? Man, I think I mean, there's I no this, baseball this. connections except for me just loving the Reds hats. Okay. Because gotcha. man, those, those guys are so rich. Like they don't even. Yo, they yeah. don't spend this money. Right. Yeah. You know what they buy? Well, no, I. I'll take that back. We have seen a couple of them mm. because they started to buy like hoodies because yeah. it, you know they're not they get from their, uh, yeah. the beepers in there so they can you know get the uh, calls. Chill out. Sounds about right. Yeah, <laughs> wow. yeah. Baseball, you know, they're a culture unlike any other because they they make so much money and they don't have to be a star. Yeah, they walk around quietly, very rich. Yep. Well, all the so, Spanish dudes don't speak English. So. That too. None of that. Right. Because keep it real. A, a red player can walk in here and you just might not know what he is. You just might not. Nope. And he gonna be so rich. And yeah. he's, I just want these shoes, bro. I'm trying to think of any Expand. major league baseball player I would know if he I can't name like today. Three, I oh, you know Clayton Kershaw. I would. That's what I was gonna say. I could. Yeah. I would Dexter know Clayton Fowler. Kershaw. Dexter I Fowler. I know him. You know Clayton Kershaw if you're walking in? Nah. Ortiz for me. You would not. Big Papi. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bryce Harper could walk in. Yeah, Bryce, yeah, Bryce for sure. I wouldn't know what he looks like. You wouldn't know Bryce? Heck no. Nah. They make sure you. They, they, they make sure I know. When you, uh, when you smell judge, a judge can walk in somewhere. When you smell the three hundred M's, yeah. then yeah. you'll know that's Mike Bryce. Trout. I can see Mike Trout, Mookie yeah. Best probably. <laughs> but but that's the thing. Mookie but, Best did he just get traded? Yeah, Allegedly, it's not done yet. No, it's oh, finished. Okay. It just finished today. Okay, cool. Uh, none of those guys are Reds, and I don't know a Cincinnati Red. I don't know one. Yeah, I don't know. Barry Larkin, the one. You know what? Scooter Gennett. He did a, he did a single. That's thing. That's worse. Scooter yeah. is he still with us? I think so. Okay. <laughs> he might. He might be gone. You might I was about to say he yeah. might be gone. <laughs> the Reds like to give away good players. For yeah. Some reason. I don't think they like winning. Have they ever won? Uh, ninety. The World Series. Nineteen ninety. Oh. Oh, okay. Shout yeah. out to the nineteen ninety. Shout out to thirty years ago. Decades ago, for sure. But you know, I mean, right, P, that was a good year. That was a good year. Here, won some monarchs. You got them. Now, hey, Pete Rose once mistaken me for this other store. And he about cussed me out. <laughs> what? Yeah, it was funny, man. I had to tell him, like, no, that's the other guys. He was like, oh, okay, cool. But then he signed my baseball, F the other guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like. Wow, that's crazy. F those like, guys. He's really a wild guy. Thanks, Pete. Yo, he is wild. Let Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame. Stop playing. Please. Right now. Today. Stop. Y'all stupid. It's ridiculous. Personal right. vendettas. There it is. There you go. <laughs> um, I, I just uh, Tough question, man. But I want to ask you, so what does it mean to be a business owner of your caliber as an immigrant in the United States? Mm. You know, especially what's going ah, on now. Ah, you know, I like yes. this one. And Mike could be uh, climate, Jordan man. voice. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, as an immigrant. No, I just, I feel like you have to hold yourself to a higher standard. I mean, obviously you want the next person to do well, mm -hmm. right? And that's something that I really put on my back. Like, man, look. I'm not gonna mess this up for the next person. Right. I can't, man. And you know, uh, I feel like I've been very blessed with the the opportunities. Right. Like this this neighborhood. You know, uh, you you want to talk about Hyde Park? You think prestigious? You think, um, you know, a white demographic? Man, when I called the landlord and mm -hmm. I told her my vision, she was like, "You're not white, are you?" <laughs> Wow. Yo, listen. Uh, just like that. No, listen. When you Whoa. ask that, do you mean like? Yeah. yeah like so listen. Said. But no, I literally Should responded I mean? like, "No, ma'am." She was like, "Great." I've been praying for diversity because I can't get Dog. it. And you, you and talk about your heart dropping mm -hmm. in your Ooh. chest because you just you like, never know. Yo, don't make don't me come own, out of man. character because you, I will for that because it, I feel like that's foul. It could have easily been. Well, then you're not welcome around here. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. I will say whoever y'all Zordon is has been assigning y'all to these cities. They make it diverse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hope so, man. I feel like that's a uh, that's one thing sneakers don't get credit for. Yeah, is the diversity that they bring yeah, the culture. together. Like, yeah. dude, think about this. You have 20 people in a room. We looking at their shoes. Yep. We're looking at look, what yeah. what can we identify with mm -hmm. to break this ice. Got them fours on. Yeah. Bro. It's perfect hard choice. Too. Any, Ooh, perfect he got choice. them buddies Any walk on. Of life. You yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. But, I mean, it's just it's something that we can physically see first that makes us feel comfortable. It's one of the safer things to judge a book by almost. It's yeah. messed up, but it ain't. Yeah. Like, okay. It, it oh, is, got, okay. I feel oh, he like, tore them ones up. Like, y'all tearing it up right now. I think that's cute. Yeah, I don't know if y'all playing that. No, you know of course saying? not. This is me every yeah. day. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm definitely a four guy. <laughs> this is me every day. <laughs> I'm a four guy. I've got three yeah. pairs, so. Ooh. Okay, flex. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Flex. Yeah. He's got way more than three pairs. What about the third one we got over there? Got way more than three pairs. My three pairs, that's a triumph for me. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, I'm still not buying the same silhouettes yet because I ain't got enough. I gotta disperse my stuff. It be like that, man. It is. I'm trying to make it sense. Man. Yeah, I'm with um, it. Yeah. I, I know you mentioned sitting in the offices with Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mentioned that. Drink, drink, yeah, I, I, I mentioned that so casually. No, uh, <laughs> it, that that yeah. was a funny day, man. Yeah, man. Um, how did that even come about, and how how's that experience impacted you? Super cool. So actually, it started Indy. Really? Listen, what? shout out to uh, the city. So listen to this. So uh, Emory had just uh, started with BBC at the time. Okay. And we had a show over in too. Indy that I had to go to. Mm -hmm. And uh, my boy, uh, DJ Clark Kent, was mm -hmm. like, yo, when you meet Emory, tell him who you are and, you know, take it from there. So I tell Emory, like, hey, you know, big homie Clark told me to tell you what's up, you know, that uh, I listen to every – Every time you were shouted out, I felt like, you know, it was something special about you. Mm -hmm. Emery took to me like little brother. Like, you know, he's oh, so he, you plugged he's in the with dude. the planes game. Oh man. man. You good oh, money. Yeah. Emery is everything. Yo, I can text Emery anytime. He's there. You know what I mean? So what happened was he I was in That's New York. Crazy. Yeah, wow I, to think about. Oh man. Let it's, it register. 
Yo, Emory is, is the guy, man. And he, uh, yo, I was in New York. I texted him, like, yo, I'm there. He's like, come up. I was like, bet. I come up to the office. We're walking down the hall. I didn't know where you just see Emory act like he's about to get knocked out. And you just hear somebody, ooh, I got you. Emory acts like, ah, falls out. And Jay is there to pick him up. Hmm. Bruh, first off. Did somehow the sun yeah, starts yeah. shining. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's Jay Z. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> hard knock life. In the don't background. tweak out. The <laughs> Everything. You gotta have a self check. That's you Jay-Z, do. What the fuck, bro? Listen. What the fuck? First off, you're seeing Emory go down, so I'm like, do I fight? Like, what do I do? Like, right. you know what I mean? Like, yo, I'm like, this it's is time Emory. to show my like, allegiance. Yo, I'm gonna, yeah, exactly. Emory. I'm gonna come out of character, but uh, and then Emory is like, oh yeah, uh, Jay, this is Matt. And Jay goes, yeah, I'm Jay. I'm like, duh, yeah. bro. Like, oh, are you? Like, listen, oh, really? What are you so doing? So I literally just was like, yo, he's a regular dude. Yeah. He was like, yo, I'm Jay. Hi, I'm Matt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And from there, you know, uh, Emory introduced me as, yo, he owns corporate out of Cincinnati. Jay goes, ah, oh, yeah, Cincinnati. Yo, we killed that show. Hmm. I was like, yeah, yeah, I did. Like, you know, That's my voice crazy. got extra high. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And I mean, it was just, it was a great experience. That same day, uh, Davidson, um, I mess up his last name, Fareed, Fareed. He's, sure. a, uh, he's a stylist for Jay now. Okay. Word. That was the very first day that he met him. Mm. And he was um, like- How many years know, back are we talking? Maybe like eight. Okay. Eight years ago, maybe. I'm trying to think. Put it like this. I was wearing some Converse that day. Okay. <laughs> Chuck's on. Converse yeah, the one time I don't wear Jordan 4s in New York. I was <laughs> right. sick. But uh, nah, man. It, it, it's just been super cool to be in those moments. It's been super cool to be there and see things that like, yo, like I called my boy right after I left the office. Like you just freestyle for him. Yeah, I did. Man. I was like, yo, I told you like, somebody you immediately. To yo, I, yo, I called him, I told him I threw up the rock and yeah. everything. Stop playing with me. I, I, just, met, I, just, I just met, I just met you gotta let somebody. Oh. You gotta let somebody know it's only right. On oh. topic, was that the most starstruck you ever been? I mean, I'm sure you've run into a bunch of people. That's, that, is that top tier for um, you? Or is anybody else that kind of got you like, damn. You know what's so crazy? It's like, you're just like, wait, what's going on? That's the moment. It's mm-hmm. not like a starstruck thing. It's just like, wait, what? Like you have to shake it off. Almost. It's a feeling. Of, just don't do nothing stupid. Yeah, bro. Exactly. Don't do don't, don't be a dumb. Don't geek out. Don't be that guy. Yeah. Please don't ask for no that. picture. Say what's up like a regular dude. Though. Yeah, just just act like you've been there before, right? Hi, sir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. I was gonna give him a firm handshake. Sean, is it nice to meet you, sir? <laughs> Matthew, what, what do you do? <laughs> Heard heard so much about you. Yeah, that's tight. <laughs> yeah. Now that's crazy, man. Yeah. When did you realize that you wanted to be a boss? Like, was it kind of were you older? Were you younger? When did you like, okay, I want this <clears throat> to be something big. I want to make sure my life is um, is huge. Like I said, uh, working in retail sucked because I didn't it's not have for control. The weak-hearted. Yeah, like it's not yo, home. if you want to, like, so prime example, I worked at Express, right? I was the freshest oh, dude in there. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, I had- I kept the suits and the shirts and the shirts and the towel. Yep. Like, yo, the, everybody in there knew, like, they could ask me, like, yo, what should I put this person in? Mm. Guess what my job was every shift? Mop. That's unfortunate. Mop uh, the floors, make sure everything in the back room looks good. Next week is the fries. Bruh, yeah, I was like, come the, on, man. This is unfortunate. Is the and then, uh, like I said, with the passing of my friend, that really put me into overdrive. And to really take this thing serious, like right. yo, if I say I want this, then that's what I got to do. There you go. And um, that that led to Minneapolis, to Columbus, to you know when the recession hit, back home, and we were good. That's what's up, man. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Uh, man. For, for for those that have the idea, want to own their own and, and start a business, when is it a good time to take that risk? You know what I mean? Ooh. When do you know, like, okay, I need to make this happen? That's a good question. Um. I would say you got to take that risk when you just know you're not going to be happy. Like, if you're not going to be happy in something, why are you doing it? Right. Mm-hmm. Man, we just, you know, we witness people dying all the time at a young age, and mm-hmm. you're just like, bruh, but they always wanted this or that. I think you just got to go for it, man. You got to know, like, make up your mind. Don't teeter back and forth. Don't question yourself. But just go all in. And, man, it's okay not to have the support of, you know, whoever. Like, right. man, I had friends literally cuss me out when mm. they realized I wasn't coming back to school. 
right. they were telling me I was dumb as hell. Yeah. Like literally one of my best friends, she just looked me in my eye and said, you're ruining your life. <laughs> naturally we, you know, Clashed. Yeah, we, yeah. Just, we hadn't spoke since. But oh. Chris Brown's look at me now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not, yeah. And not even in essence, but just, just a little you bit. just gotta <laughs> literally just look mean, like, hey, okay, thank you for your opinion. I mean, because you still cherish the opinion. I mean, because that, that, I mean, even though it I may did. not have been what you wanted to hear, I time, learned you know about that. Yeah. Oh, man, I did. I did for sure. I, you know, I took that to heart, but then I was like, eh, I'm going to sign this lease anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, I'm going <laughs> to sign this lease. <laughs> what, what do you do? <laughs> yeah. So. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure she's heard about you now. Uh, yeah. It, I mean, you know, she, we've come across a couple of times. Uh, still not back to where we were, but Got you. you know, never will be. She, you know, you yeah, kind of showed your hand. Yeah, you yeah. showed your yeah. color. It's yeah. cool. You're not probably doing a little bit better than her. You're not the same right. match you were back then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, she, knows, <laughs> she knows where to get shoes. Yeah, um, uh, I hope so. Yeah, she knows corporate guy. Yeah, she, she definitely. She probably shops at Dick's and Sporting Goods stores. Gross. Or something crazy. Uh, yeah. Gross. Uh, yeah. Yikes. That's ridiculous. Dick's kind of got. They got some stuff now. Surprise they get Yeezys now. Shops at Adidas. Every now and then, like they used to, they used to get a release. Yeah, like a Jordan release, a retro release. Yeah, for Christmas sure. time. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, do you have any other dreams outside of corporate? Something else you want to actually venture into, as far as business goes? Um, I know you mentioned expanding. To yeah, that, expanding. Uh, trying to figure that out, honestly. Uh, I I want to do other things, but I'm not really sure what I'm really that passionate about. Right, right. Because man, like. You come in here any day, you're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, that dude love what he does." He's flourishing, I mean, right? Yeah, like, and everybody doesn't have to expand on something new. Sometimes it, this is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, probably something where I don't have to give all my time up to it. Um, my wife, she's actually a hairstylist, and what she does, I think, is incredible. Mm -hmm. If I could just support her and be at the stay at home dad, <laughs> I would do it. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So, Get my baking yeah, skills that's up. That's a gig sure. right there. <laughs> mm. I'm domesticated. I'm down to do it. Play the game. I, hey, I'm good at it. I tell her all the time, I'm ready. you start working harder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can do this. It's 2020, baby. Um, you know what I'm saying? We can change, we can change the gender roles. Yeah. <laughs> that's real, man. Listen, I know Kobe Bryant meant a lot to you. <sighs> man, a lot to people, especially a lot yeah. to me, man. Um, I know you just did the uh, the visual form yeah. not too long ago. I just want you to talk about how much Kobe meant to you, his impact on your life, and how he even <sighs> maybe fueled some of corporate success. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I grew up watching Mike, and then after Mike retired, it was like, Mr. Kobe, Bean. Yep. yeah, you like, you know, you just naturally have to respect him. You don't like him at first because you're like, man, this dude just look like MJ. Yeah. But no, yes, man. Yes, that is exactly it. He didn't pick his afro. We think this is. Exactly. Who does <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but uh, nah, man, I just, I think he meant a lot to the way that you have to be in life. Like, you know, the Mamba mentality. Right. It's kind of like the entrepreneur mentality. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, you fall down, you got to get up. If you do something stupid, you got to learn. If you don't learn, then you're not going to get better. Right. And I tell people, like, all the time, like, dude, I've made mistakes. I continue to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. But I don't let that hinder me to the point where I don't try. Like, I try every day. Maybe I don't sell that shoe to that person. Doesn't mean, like, I'm done for the day. Right, right, like, right. Like, yo, cool. He didn't want it. On to the next person. Keep Let's shooting. Out. There you go. Keep shooting. Yeah, that's the hey, that's the perfect analogy for uh sales. Oh, retail. Oh yeah, keep shooting. Oh, retail, yeah, just sure. keep shooting. You get Kobe. <laughs> you right. <laughs> right. <laughs> keep shooting. Yeah. Double team. So that don't matter. The Man. Shoot. Triple. <laughs> Man. Yeah. I don't miss the retail life at all. Man. Oh, man. Oh. Me me either. My man. feet hurt thinking about it. I get my little couple days. Long days. <laughs> Oh um, man, all this for is concrete, baby. <laughs> they concrete, baby. Yeah, that foot action life was no joke. It's crazy. What is your ultimate goal when it's all said and done? You know what I mean? When you mm. live a long, crazy, successful life, uh, what do you want to look back on and say, okay, corporate did this, we made this happen? Mm. Not letting the success be what defines us. You know, letting the significance. There was this, uh, my pastor gave me that. He was like, yo, you know, uh, success is what you can do for yourself. Significance is what you can do for others. Damn, get Man, it on the shirt. Put it on the shirt, bro. My pastor's so real with that. I was like, "Dang, I feel you." I was like, "I feel that, yeah. like for real." Because it's like, man, people, you know, they see those shoes, they see the right. shirt, but it's like three years later, they ain't gonna know what that's even about. Right. But like, man, what we're doing in the community is so cool that like, mm -hmm. man, I'm seeing the next kid that, you know, is probably gonna work here. Mm -hmm. It's probably gonna be better than me at doing something. 
or even just design it and i'm like yo that's cool yeah. like that's real cool and you're giving him the vision he can see yeah, it through you just like vic and them man like i know when vic sees me he's probably like bro like i really have seen you when you had pimples all over your face and a big hat <laughs> like <laughs> back when you were a size eight you yeah, really seven and a half exactly and it's just like i think that's cool because man that's what it's about giving back and pushing mm -hmm. that next person forward like man there's a reason why vic comes down you know lift while you climb yeah that's crazy man man shout out to matt Tom and michael shout Clean out to corporate yeah. thank you we man thank y'all man yeah. I, I, struggle with with that. Oh, well, I struggle with that one last question before we out of here yeah one more what's the craziest experience you've ever had <laughs> as an owner of corporate Happen inside, inside, inside these walls here. Like, yo, Ooh. I can't believe this shit just went down. Hmm. Craziest thing. Ah, uh, I got it. Okay, so when we had the Yeezys, like the first time, uh, obviously the Nike Yeezys or the Adidas Yeezys. Adidas Yeezys. Okay. They ain't the same. So the, the second, but, second yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, 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 not. they not. They not. The so, substandard Yeezys. Yeah, I mean, you know, the ones everybody that can get them Yeezys. <laughs> So we had the Yeezys and this big dude, I'm talking about the rock. Like <laughs> he came in, but he skipped the line. Damn. Oh, okay. Bruh. Cause he was that size. Oh man. It was all because he knew that the mom behind him wasn't going to say nothing. And oh, he's a hoe. Bruh, oh, listen, guys. it gets worse. Be on a, to a mom, bro. He was so big. And like, all my guys are like, well, what are we going to do? I'm like, Y'all kick him out. <laughs> like, get his ass. Yo, look, I'm trying here. to delegate, right? I yeah. try to delegate. They all look to me like, not this time. Yeah, yo, so I go out yo, there. Yo, your benefit's not good enough, man. Sorry, I walk bro. out there. I'm like, hey, my man. Like, why are you doing that today? Like, you know you're going to get these shoes. Like, we got enough. I need you to go to the back of the line. And, you know, I was up here. Yeah. I went all the way down. back for me, bro? Yeah. I was like, please, man. Just just go to the back of the line. Don't hit me. Like, because I really <laughs> felt like if he would have hit me, yeah. it would have been bad. You missed that release. Bro, I missed, like, this interview. What do you yeah. mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. Like, yo, this dude. Was, this was it. Like, I mean, no no joking. Like, his shoulders were as wide as that. Mm hmm that poster yeah. board. He's been cutting lines for years. Bro, he definitely. So what he saying? For sure. He's like. He's been a bully. All right, man. I'll go to the back. Man, when he came in, we literally had one pair of his size left. I said, God, thank you. So look, when he, he came might have in, tore something up. Bro, he really, yo. Because he needed a 14. Man, he needed that 12. Uh -huh. And I was so, I was worried too. Because I kept seeing the line get bigger. And like, people were asking for the same yeah, size. Like, hey, hey, to hey, big dog, big dog, what size you need? Okay, cool. Can you go? You like, gotta, you gotta, gotta wait in the line, but he would have ripped that shoe. whole shoe wall <laughs> off the wall. You gotta wait in the line. I don't have the shoe. Big dog, big dog. What size you were? Twelve, twelve. Okay, just go to the back. There, I'm gonna yeah. hold it for you. And that was the other thing. I couldn't like whisper, right? Like, because there were watching. people in there, yeah. and there were people outside. They you were can, all. You looking. had to make a statement. Everybody was watching. It felt like mm. the sweat was just yeah. like really right here, like one single sweat. That's business because that's guys. I'm I'm never coming back in there. He he plays favorites. Yep. Exactly. Yep. And that would have been it. Yo, man. And you know what's crazy? I don't think I've ever seen him since. Because hmm. yeah. I would remember him. They don't let me cut yeah, in there. I ain't sure. going back in you there. You cut the wrong line somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Don't let me cut in there. I'm cool off there. <laughs> well, he's been, he's been doing that for years. Yeah. Dude, Four you had years. to shoot him. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I don't yeah. do no violence, <laughs> but you had to shoot him. Because he was <laughs> Ankle shot. Bro, he <laughs> was he was huge. <laughs> you shoot him with ankle, he's going to fall on you. And then you hurt still. He still wins. It's literally like looking at that Barry Larkin. It's him. But he's that big. That's him. <laughs> and I was just like, like if anybody on, knows man. the giant that's walking around Cincinnati, find his name. <laughs> man. Definitely. He was strong. That's too. Crazy. I took a picture with him too. That was what was funny. I took a picture took with a picture him. picture with his torso. Yeah, pretty he much. It. It's just like from here up. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But no, nah, I took a picture with him afterwards and we laughed, but it, it was that was probably the craziest thing. Yeah. Because I knew that that could have Well then there was this other big dude that was standing with him. Mm. And that dude didn't want to say nothing. I'm like, y'all probably lift the same. Yeah. yeah, you could, right. And you didn't even have my back. Man. Just sat there and watched. Like, man, some bystanders is but real. Yeah, that was. That's how that happens, man. I'm, I'm for just sure. glad to be here. That's. <laughs> glad, glad to be glad here. You glad here. I appreciate it. Glad to make it out. Very, yeah. um, very happy to be here. Let's give a round of applause, Matt. Tom and Mike. All right, man. man. Thank y'all. Appreciate you, man. We appreciate you for yeah. sure. Shout out to Cincinnati. Shout out to Cincinnati. It was a great time. A great trip. <laughs> time, man. It was. Go get y'all some good food, man. Oh, we're we going to try to. Oh, best believe. Yeah. We're about Next. to put this order in now. Next. Next. Next.